Hello students. In this video, you're going to learn about adding and subtracting fractions. So the purpose is that at the end of this lesson, you should be able to simplify expressions by adding or subtracting fractions. So let's get started. Adding and subtracting fractions are very simple, but you have to look at them in a few different ways. So on this slide, we are going to look at adding and subtracting fractions with the same base or the same denominator. So to make that easier, I've made a small little flowchart. It says, do they have the same denominator is the question. If it's a yes, and that's what we're going to deal with on this slide, then you just add those numerators across. So looking at example one, it says two-fifths plus three-fifths. Taking a look at that, they have the same denominator. Therefore, this is an easy problem. It is five divided by five. Notice I did not add the denominators. I only added the numerators, the numbers on the top of the fraction. This if you didn't re realize it, simplifies to just one. Number two is four ninths, four sevenths plus nine sevenths. Again, same denominator, so we are going to add those numerators across, and you are left with thirteen sevenths. Now, be, I realize that it is a improper fraction, but I would like for you to leave it in that fashion because it's going to help us a lot more later on. Example three, same idea. We're subtracting this time. So it's five minus seven fourths, which is negative two fourths. So that's negative two fourths, or just negative one half. So now let's look at adding and subtracting fractions with a different base or a different denominator. So this answers the question, do they have the same denominator? We're only looking at the nose for now. So if you look at example one, it says 3 fourths plus 5 eighths. Clearly their denominators are not the same. One is four, one is eight. So in this instance, we're looking for them to have the least common denominator. So if it's easier, make a list for the fours of what their multiples are. So they're four, eight, 12, 16, etc. For 8, it is 8, 16, 24. And you'll notice right off the bat, they both have an 8 in common. So that's our least common denominator. Now in order for us to make that work, we need to multiply the 4, the denominator of 4, by 2. So we're going to multiply that by 2. But you have to remember what we do to the bottom, we have to do to the top. So we are going to multiply by 2 to both the numerator and the denominator. That means this will now become a fraction of 6 eighths. And we are going to go ahead and add that to 5 eighths. Like you see here. And now we're back at the original side where they do have the same denominator. So we're going to go ahead and add the numerators across and that gives us 11 eighths. So notice here, I'm going to change it back to black, the only thing that differed, the only thing here that differed was that we changed the six eighths. For example, two, we have two fifths plus one third. Again, notice the denominators are different, but in this instance, their common denominator is 15. So we're going to have to multiply both numbers. So for the two-fifths, we're going to multiply the denominator and the numerator by 3. But if we did that to the one-third, that's not going to give us 15. So let's simplify that. That becomes 6 fifteenths. And on the right side, for one-third, we have to multiply that by five. Again, what we do to the bottom, we do to the top. And that's going to give us five fifteenths. And now this should be an easy problem. Six plus five is 11. And we're left with 11 fifteenths. Example three we have 5 6 plus minus 2 ninths. So notice these two have very similar numbers, which means their multiples should run into each other. So we'll make a list to make it easier. So it's 6, 12, 
18, 24, 30, and there's more. For 9, it is 9, 18, 27, and 36. But you'll notice they have an 18 in common, so that's what we need to shoot for. In order to make the 6 an 18, we have to multiply that by 3. And again, what we do to the bottom, we do to the top. That gives us 15 eighteenths. And for the right side, 2 ninths, we're going to have to multiply that by 2. And again, what we do to the bottom, we do to the top. So now we're left with minus minus 4 eighteenths. And now it's just a basic subtraction problem. 15 minus 4 is 11 eighteenths. And that's your final answer. That's all for now. Or try these problems and we'll take a look at them tomorrow. That's all for now. I'll see you guys next time.